Hello everybody, welcome to the next little spooky game I'm playing in this spooky month. This is Bendy and the Ink Machine. I know literally nothing about this except that its aesthetic is that of old-timey cartoons. And I am a big fan of old-timey cartoons, which is why I really want Cuphead right now. But I kind of don't have the funds to get it because, yeah, this check is going to be devoted towards Mario Odyssey and Sonic Forces. But enough about that. Let's go into this game. Doesn't seem to have controller support. Oh no. My little setup right here is going to be awkward. Whatever. Let's go. And yeah, this is an episodic game. Chapters 1, 2, and 3 are out right now. 4 and 5 are coming soon. So yeah, when those come out, I guess I'll revisit this and play those. But anyway, let's go. Moving pictures. Dear Henry, it seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. You're a pest. I can't read today. Your best pal, Joey Drew. Oh, thank God. Controller support. All right, there we go. And then you can run and move and jump and interact. And I got a weapon. All right, I, I, can, I can dig it. Seems easy enough to control. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Holy shit, this frame rate. Uh, yo. Okay, had to lower the quality a bit. Um, yeah, this seems doable. Let's go. You would not think this would be a really resource heavy game, but apparently it is, and it's not even my uh, recorder that's causing the frame dips, though, to be fair, I probably should have restarted my computer before I start recording today. Whatever it is, what it is. Let's interact with this. Let's turn that back on, shall we? Okay, there we go. Gives me a little light. So what or am I doing here? Just explore the workshop. Okay, I got it. Don't really know what's going on though. Up, oh, up, oh, oh, what's that? Dreams come true, huh? All right, well, they, uh, that's kind of spooky. Locked door. And, well, hello there, guy. Looks like we're gonna have to call the Silent Hill locksmith. He's just getting overtime. Little devil darling. All right. Like, the only thing I really know about this is, like, this is Bendy right there. You're a cartoonist. Your creation is like, come to life or something, I believe. Can I open this one? All right, well, fine. Saw a light coming out from underneath. Oh, the ink machine. Have I beaten the game, then? <laughs> So this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. Hmm. New objective. Turn on the ink machine. Okay, well, it's not going to be in the dead end. I swear, one of these days I'm going to turn around and he's going to be there and I'm going to be like, Oh, no! Then I'll scream and then I'll be a coward and then everybody will think less of me. <laughs> Implying that people already have a positive opinion on me in the first place. What is self-esteem? I don't even know. Okay, well, we need to find a way to turn on the ink machine. Does it use electricity? Did electricity exist back in the day? Before it was discovered by Benjamin Franklin? Ooh, the dancing demon. Well, can't do much with that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's jump. Oh, wow. What oh my God. do we have here? Joey, what were you doing? They ripped out Joey's heart. That is disturbing. Boris the wolf. 
Oh, wait, no, is that just Boris? Then he said Joey, and eh, whatever. Bendy's behind me, isn't he? Or not? It, who's laughing now? I can't really interact with you. Okay, then. Ooh, that actually opened. I'm stunned. Wasn't expecting that. So, confirmed, we are not actually in Silent Hill land. Doors will actually open. I just need to figure out how to turn on the ink machine, though. I must do this. Does the answer lie somewhere relatively close? Ooh. Yeah, that's a radio. Well, I got an achievement. Ooh, 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 what's this? What's this? Okay. So what, do I just have to find ink or something? Because yeah, I'm not really doing too much in the realm of interacting with that. Well, at least I found the walk faster button. Yes, I understand dreams come true. Hmm. Well, now that I know that some doors will open, maybe I'll find something in here. Nope. And that's the exit. But I can't exit yet. I haven't turned on the ink machine. Haven't completed. Hey, you're my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Okay, then. Hmm. Guess I might need to find something to tear down those boards then. And I think I checked all the available doors. Hmm. Wait, can I open these? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Collectible right there. No, it doesn't seem like I can open the drawers. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Where did that board fall? Maybe I can pick that up. Oh, I, there was some more ink right there. I'm going to assume that's ink. Bendy brand ink. We got some more right there. Oh, no, it's soup. Bacon soup? On one, like, part of me is disgusted, but another part of me probably would try it out. First time for everything. You can never have too much ink. Also, excuse me for a second. All right, hopefully I remember to cut out that little sinking thing I did. That won't open. Ooh, open. Fine, might as well get some more bacon soup. 
I don't know how healthy that would be, but hey, we're getting it. Seriously, that kind of sounds disgusting. But at the same time, bacon is delicious. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it would surprise me. Maybe it would actually be good. You never know until you try. Well, hello. More black label bacon soup. And nothing else in there. Hmm. You already know something's gonna go down here. Let me just get my bacon soup first. Oh! Ink pressure. Maybe that'll activate the ink machine. Can I can I can I get my bacon soup? But wrong button. There we go. You can never have too much. Can I turn this on? No. Jump scare? No. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm surprised. I will press the button. Okay, so that... no. Maybe I should just at least remember that that's right there. Okay... Yeah, I'm not seeing too much I can like interact with or pick up. Some tells me I might want to tear down those boards, but I don't see anything I can use. Unless there's something on Boris I can pick up. Take a candle? No? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, this board fell. Maybe I can pick it up and do something with this? Nope. Can I pick up Bendy? No. I'm growing confused, because, yeah, turn on the ink machine. But the ink pressure, ink flow thing isn't quite working out for me just yet, so... I... don't know. Hmm... I'm gonna take some time to mold things over. Maybe there's a path I'm missing. Oh, there was. Wow, this place is almost like it's a maze. Wait, how did I not go in here? All right, how do I get this to work? All right, fix the ink machine, collect the needed objects. What are the needed objects? Oh. So I guess I need a cog, a wrench, a book. Teddy bear, some music, and... I'm gonna assume ink? It didn't help that that... Like, I saw him right when a Steam notification popped up about somebody... Who put this here? ...playing Cuphead. Hmm...
so I need to find the tools. I didn't see any, so it's probably going to be a new area that opened up for me. To, oh, wait, no, we got. Okay, well, we have Bendy, and I already listened to that. All right, so I guess they're just going to pop up in places that I already explored. Fair enough. Doesn't seem to be anything in there, though. Did this place get destroyed a little? How did I miss that bacon soup? Oh, that's not ink, that's poison. You know there's gonna be a jump scare with that. You you just know it. Alright. Bendy's around the corner, right? Oh, no, alright, alright, they're showing restraint. Okay, but I have three of the necessary items, so just need to find the other three. Namely, the book, the cog, and the something else. That wasn't open before. I'll go down there in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, it says something about a musical note or something. Hmm. And nothing... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, so I just need to find that book and the music, I guess. Guess I'll go down those stairs then. What could possibly go wrong? Aside from death, but you, you know, I mean, it's the risk you gotta take in a run down animation studio Don't forget to punch in it could save your job another day another dollar Your priorities are all out of whack dude Ooh 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 bacon soup Some tells me I shouldn't be using those all up. I don't know what they are. I guess health related, but well, I got the CD. Oh, is that what the music was supposed to be? Okay, that's all of them. The illusion of living. I'm sure you'll open up soon. All right, well, let's go power up this ink machine with seemingly unrelated items. Yeah, I haven't worked too much with ink machines, so I don't know. Maybe they are needed. What happened to Bendy? All right, well. There we go. What does this have to do with anything? Okay. Oh, they're pressure plates. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. 
Then I can start up the main power. Well, I remember where the ink pressure thing is. But I'm now very wary for Bendy related scares. No, that's not where I want to go. Wait. Your boy's lost. Uh. Hmm. I think it was over this way? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You can just fuck right off. Not sure if that's ink or blood. I knew it was gonna happen. It wasn't really a jump scare, just... He's so happy! Alright, well, press that. Might have pressed it a little too hard there. Okay, just walk under the ink, why not? Okay. Oh no, the pipes are bursting. It's too much ink. What have we done? No matter. We're almost there. Yes, turn on the ink machine. Turn it on. So what now? It's running. I guess I go back and revisit the machine itself. Needless to say, I am a bit on edge. I don't do so well with first person thing. Oh no. Okay, so, um, run to the exit. I have no clue where it is. No. Hello, Bendy. Okay, so new objective. Drain the... Or turn the pipe valve. That was easy enough. That was unexpected. But at least I have my bacon soup. I I'm ready to face whatever comes my way. you but yeah first person spooky settings not my strongest suit not my strongest suit which is why like Silent Hill doesn't scare me that much I mean there are exceptions to like non first person things like for example Metroid Fusion was one of the scariest games I played for like years of my life the SAX, man. The SAX. Alright, well, yeah, let's just keep draining the flood. Go deeper into the pits of hell, because why not? Let's 
drown in ink. Seriously though, your clothes must be really messed up at this point. I mean, I've had an ink pen burst in my pocket and let me tell you, that's no fun. So just imagine like walking through ink. Okay, there's probably gonna be uh, something satanic on the other side of this door, so let me mentally prep myself. <sighs> All right. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, thank you. We now have an ax. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The creator lied to us. But Jim Davis doesn't lie. This will definitely come in handy. Am I really equating Bendy to frickin' Garfield? I guess so. Wow, the uh, depth of field on this is, woo. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a little wonky. Oh my God, I can damage the walls. Or maybe that was just a fluke. Okay, it was probably a fluke. Oh well. Bendy, I got some for that ass if you come up and try to, you know, do something again. You will taste my freaking axe. And I'm not talking about the body spray either. I, I wouldn't recommend tasting that. That's, that's kind of poisonous. But this axe is... Is Bendy trying to summon Cthulhu? What the hell? Was not expecting a transmutation circle. Okay. Did I screw up by walking into the circle of the damned? Oh no, that was just chapter one. Oh. Aw. Kind of disappointed on how it ended, but eh, you know, first chapter of an episodic thing. And the first chapter is free. That's the later chapters that you have to pay for. So yeah, I'm sure the game expands way more beyond that um, first chapter. Well, obviously it does. So yeah, I'm really curious to like, see where it goes from here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install the next chapter and get started on that. And uh, yeah, so far I'm liking it. Um, the atmosphere is really good. I mean, it was kind of getting to me because it was kind of like just hitting all the points really for me. Like first person, uh, like no music, just ambient noise. But for some reason that didn't really get to me as much. And okay, now, now the fan art, this is just getting rid of like all the fear. I like that fan art though. Ah, oh, bacon soup. No. Oh. Hell's Kitchen. Oh, I see what they did there. Okay. But yeah, um, oh, I didn't know this was a Patreon. I mean, well, I mean, you know, Patreon support. I don't know. I, I, sorry, I, I saw Patreon, but I was thinking of Kickstarter. Ne never mind, never mind. So yeah, it is Patreon funded. Okay. <laughs> Just a person saying hi. I like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get around to, um, I mean, obviously I'm going to get around to doing chapters two and three, and then four and five will be done on the channel whenever they come out. So yeah, so far I'm liking this. I'm liking this. You know, it's pretty simplistic. And <laughs> Bendy will return, obviously. But yeah, I am curious to see where it goes from here. Hopefully I start off chapter two with the axe. I'm waiting for him to do something. Oh no, he's just gonna fade out. And then Screamer? Ah, uh, all right, no Screamer. But all right, yeah. See you next time for chapter two of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Gotta install it. The old song. Oh boy. Goodbye.